you here is the conclusion to the sermon when a plant is abused. Sleep because, hey, right there, that chemical right there, right there, sitting on the, sitting on the wall late at night, a whole bunch of them, you know, lips darkened because they smoke it. That's, that's the stuff right there. Okay, let's, let, let's go back in the pharmacy here. THC is the chemical responsible for most of marijuana psychological effects. It acts much like the cannabinoid chemicals made naturally by the body, according to the National Institute on, on, on Drug Abuse. Listen to this. Cannabinoid receptors are concentrated in certain areas of the brain, naturally. You already have them. They're, they're in there. And they're associated, I love this, with thinking. Let me slow it down. Associated with thinking naturally, the cannabinoid yeah. receptors. Yeah. See, God knows what we need, yeah. and He knows how much we need. Yeah. But when we get greedy and want to put more stuff in, that oh, 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 you're going to get the reverse effect. Anyway, let me talk about the official stuff that God had us born with the receptors. They are associated with thinking, memory, pleasure coordination, and time perception. <laughs> I'm going to slow down right there. Because some of you are having flashbacks. Uh-huh. Yeah, to when you smoke this stuff. Thought that your thinking was clear. Don't know what time of the day is. Should be working from 9 to 5. You're, you're sitting, in a, sitting in an attic, sitting in a shed, hiding out from the man. Something wrong with your thinking. So, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. So THC now, the stuff, <laughs> marijuana, <laughs> the stuff they want to make legal in Bermuda. Yeah, okay, I'm okay. THC attaches to these receptors, right? The receptors. <laughs> and affects a person's memory, of course, pleasure, movements, thinking, concentration, coordination, and sensory and time perception. Been not smoking that stuff? Time, time stands still, man. Eddie <laughs> cool with the world. What you worrying about? You know, that's the attitude, like, yes. what you want, take it easy, Eddie's cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. mama gotta work nine to five right. for your big backside. <laughs> you talk about everything's cool. <laughs> Let me tell you something, you know I ain't afraid of it. Because that's what's going on in Bermuda. Yeah. You know, you, you're trying to teach them. I remember back in the day, I taught 20 years, this last dec that last decade. You could tell when they were doing a little marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> How are they going to memorize my science experiment? How are they going to do a lab and give me a lab report that have been smoking this stuff, can't think and can't memorize? You, you want them to pay attention. Take it easy, teach. Eddie's cool. He mean everything's cool. We're in an education system fighting for our life and your future. Ain't nothing cool about that. But we want to legalize it. This is what it affects. This ain't semenology. This ain't bibliography or bibliography. This is scientific evidence information. 
that the smoking of marijuana changes your mind. That's what I'm going to say. It changes your mind. So really, okay, see me, you want to go there? You lose your mind. Your mind that God had you been born with? No, you thought you were smart. You got to add something to it. Shabakata. Let me read some more because this stuff's interesting. I couldn't copy and paste everything. It's interesting stuff. THC. Stimulates, listen to this, stimulates cells in the brain to release dopamine. Dopamine. It would be dopamine. Dopey sites. <laughs> Even the science trying to tell you it's dopey. Dopamine. Creating euphoria, according to NIDA. It also interferes with how information is processed in the hippocampus which is a part of the brain responsible for forming new memories. So, so how are you going to teach them? How are you going to teach them, Mrs. Rollins, new information? They won't read. They can't take in the new information. You expect too much. So we're about to legalize something that, in effect, is going to put our black boys and girls in particular at more of a deficit. I just don't understand the people of Bermuda some days. Anyway, let me get off that scientific stuff. In other words, the fruit looks good. <laughs> I can't tell you. But go up, grew it. Go up, planted it. And God knew what he wanted to use it for. He certainly didn't mean for you to burn it up and lose your brain cells and lose your memory and think you're in some euphoria that you're sitting on a couch doing nothing. How you being a euphoria? Sitting down doing nothing and coming out at nighttime to sit on a wall and talk about what? You ain't talking about a job. Something else is stuff here. Something else. Now let me now let me agree. Let me agree here. Let me be clear here. I agree that there are NA chemicals within cannabis, yeah. the cannabis plant, yeah. that ease pain, because God is good like that, ain't it? And can benefit certain adverse conditions of persons suffering seizures. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Yet I must emphasize that that's when the plant is used responsibly. Yeah. No, guys, I see. I'm, I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, I could get Haiti mails, inboxes. I don't even care. Uh -huh. The guys I see smoking this stuff ain't got no seizures. <laughs> ain't got no seizures. <laughs> now, not at all. Not at all. The, and listen, they aren't even in pain. No pain. Uh -huh. No pain. None. 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 <laughs> All of a sudden, the vocal though, yes, legalize it. Ain't even got a J-O-B some of them, but they want to speak about legalizing. Yeah. The trick and trap of the devil is to cause you to touch it and then taste of the substance in a way that it was not meant to be used. This is abuse or abnormal use. This is when what God actually created for health becomes a hindrance in society and to humanity. The scream we hear today for marijuana legalization is not because most folks have compassion <laughs> concerning those who are suffering from illness. Please. If I go down any street, this dale, that street, that corner, say, oh, you guys, you know me because they know me. Hey, yeah, see, we're just having a discussion. Why you guys want to legalize it? I am not going to hear a pastor. It's just been laid on our heart <laughs> that we just really need to help out and, and be a voice for the voiceless. It has nothing to do with that. Nothing. I can't believe that we're letting people, others I shall call them, who couldn't care less about you, lead the cause and use some of your faces as the front face for it, post the children for it. Not, not, not seem. No such. No such persons desire you to look, taste, 
and see that it is good for you emotionally. Yeah. All the while, the devil is destroying you socially, yes. economically, yes. and relationally. Yes. I want you to hear me, church. Yes. He said, let me, let, me, let me talk my heart. Let me tell you something right now. This issue, I ain't playing with it. I ain't playing with none of you. This issue is destroying our island. How you be sleeping when you're losing cousins and brothers? When, when children don't have money, don't have food, don't have an education. You're just at ease in Zion. If we don't understand how crucial it is, how crucial and how demanding the word is, we're going to miss. The, you know, where are the laborers? Who is laboring? Who is the harvest is right? The harvest is plenteous. They're out there, but I need workers for the kingdom who have a passion to win the loss to Jesus Christ. Serious, this thing is serious. I'm going to take a test because of this. So the enemy, he wants to destroy you socially, economically, and relationally. Eve had no clue that touching and tasting the fruit will cause her the presence of God. Come on. Any fruit of that tree that we touch and we eat, we have no clue at the time we're doing it. looks good. It's all right. I'm going to be all right. Jesus ain't come. The rapture ain't going to happen. I know I've got another day. I know I've got another hour. And so you taste and you touch of it, and it separates you from the presence of God. And in some cases forever. This is serious stuff. She had no idea it would cause her the presence of God, the protection of God's garden, and the peace of birthing without pain. Every woman should stand up and shout. And go, be, be, be. If she hadn't looked at it. Oh, I'm going to make an analogy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If she hadn't looked at it, if she hadn't touched it, if she hadn't tasted it, you would have no labor pain. Oh! Let me tell you something. Watch this. Catch this. If you hadn't seen him, if you hadn't touched him, if you hadn't tasted of him, you would have had no labor pain. I'm trying to help somebody. I'm trying to help somebody. The enemy is always out to make it look more appealing. Yes. It all looks good. I told you already. 99.5% of all babies are cute. I'm only seeing one ugly baby recently. I told you that. I'm honest, right? All right. And they're all nice until they get round two and three. After that, cute don't work. After that, they cost money and more drama. And some of them really in their mind know, I could have waited to touch and taste. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on up in here now. Jesus, take your seat, people of God. Uh, so I, I, I want the church to understand that the aim and goal of that old devil is to get you to touch, taste, and then he will sit back in triumph as you ruin your life and impact negatively on the lives of those you say that you love. Mm. Yeah, just rolling it up, twisting it up, because it's natural. Oh, it's natural. Can naturally lead you to hell. Can naturally lead you right out of the should should have been a praise and worship leader should have been on the praise team should have been giving your testimony should should have been doing a whole lot of stuff because you saw you touched and you tasted now you're out of the presence of God and you're gonna make your way back in come on church can you handle the word that's all I want to know can, is this okay can you handle it the plant. The plant is in the garden, and it is abused. In other words, it was used contrary to how, oh, I love you, Holy Ghost. Contrary, it was used contrary to how God designed it to be used. You don't see anybody in Genesis taking a tree, burning it, and smoking it, saying, I offer up praises to God. You, 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 you're gonna see all. You're gonna see that. You, 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 you see an altar and a sacrifice, yes. and, and you see something being burnt and consumed, yes. Yes. not something being taken into your system. Oh, no. right. I hope I'm helping somebody. Yes. I really do. Yes. 
God designed that the plant, oh, watch this, Jan Jan Jannifer, Jan Jan oh, Lord. I'm even getting twins mixed up right now. What? Watch this. Speaking me out. <laughs> oh Lord, now I gotta find my place. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. And I got this Holy Ghost. Man, I it's loving the Holy Ghost. Watch this. God designed that the plant be their test. Huh? Be their test of obedience. Adam and Eve, can you obey me? Yes. See, you look at the plant, or, or the world says, I go up, put it there. Yeah, God also said, don't, don't, don't touch it, don't taste it. But you say, well, it's there, so he must have won. Oh, so it's testing, really, your obedience to God. Yeah. And the test is the same today. Are you more interested in how you feel or how God feels concerning cannabis? <laughs> oh, anyway, two point two talking towel, talking towel. Mm. God had already given them the pattern. Yeah, he did. Where's the pattern? Here it is, right here. Look, it's the pattern. Eat, touch, die. <laughs> I, I said, people, that's why they didn't read the Bible, you know. Or they want to. God created all the plants and all the earth. God said this. Eat, touch, die. So, all, all smoking up the marijuana, dying. Dying young, dying to how they should care for each other. You know, need money. So, go, go, run, sell the, sell the poison to each other. Get mad at somebody. So, now the poison is going to take you to a gun, shoot somebody. Huh? Brain cells done. Yo, you, you. Ain't gonna tell they get in front of the court and we look at them. They're like crying innocent baby boys, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because while they're smoking this stuff, oh, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Somebody did tell me that, yeah, thank you. A lot of them gotta be high when they do it, gotta be out of the mind when they commit the crimes. Once the stuff, you know, this every, well, in general now, don't, don't, let, don't let me start on this. You know, people, uh, can keep getting these stuff so in prison they stop smoking and stuff like that. I'm talking about in general, don't go there today, right? So, in other words, you can't stop it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when they're arrested and they're in jail, they come before court, they ain't got the stuff anymore, so they can't, they can't be in this euphoria. So now they're crying and the old mama's boys again. You see, they were a man when they were shooting. They were well, I'm gonna preach it, I'm gonna preach it. I'm going to tell it. Destroying my people. Somebody's going to care. Hello. So the instructions, God. See, God is not like going to put a surprise attack on it. He's going to give you fair warning. If you get involved with touching a plant that I told you not to, or you take the plant and you abuse it, you use it in a way that's not good for society, for yourself, for your family, it's going to result in death. Yet there came a contrary and convincing voice which said that God's word meant something else. The people going to listen to this and not going to, because they're probably smoking right now. They ain't going to understand what I'm saying. How could you not understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it means something else. Does it sound familiar? Yes, e even today, we have those who will tell you that God's word is wrong. Yeah. Folks, this has always been, and therefore, you must know uh, God's word. You, 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 you must know God's word for yourself. Amen. And nobody should leave in here. Should pick up a cigarette, should pull up, pick up weed, should pick up cocaine, any substance yeah. that make you do dopey things and slow you down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, my thing is, if a drug, when detected in your blood cell, and keep you from having a job, you're about to get an idea. But this is another way. 
Some of you black people can not have a job. But trust you me, you think well, they legalize it, you think uh, you can be a bus driver? No. no, not if no. You think you can be a police officer? No. Say, say what? You not so talk. You can. Can he? They wouldn't let you sweep the floor if you test positive for marijuana at your hospital. But we all like, let our boys be free. Let them smoke. So you're really saying, let them not have a job. Let me keep on supporting them. Where, where did we lose our fight for life? Where did we lose our fight for dignity? I'm talking Bible, you know. I'm talking Bible. All this is coming out of revelation of the word. Oh, once I get revelation in the word, I don't stop, you know. I don't stop because I see it in the word. And so look, this is where we are in Bermuda. I can remember when most teachers, teacher Rollins, you remember this. I, I can remember when most teachers said that there ought not be a mega school. You know, I was a dummy for saying that. Oh, I got written up. <laughs> you know, I said, anyone that put my hand up for something, and my little name got written down. Oh, I can remember. Oh, I better not go into it. I'm going to hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> Others said otherwise, and today we are in a pickle because we listen to the others. Essentially, we have decreed and declared that there are two opposing warring camps. And there the enemy, spirit, took it further. Now he has, within each camp, created different camps. I always told you, I've always said, I don't like the words locked on. I don't like the words block. That's the only words they use. They use all the prison mentality words. Why? To get our black now. boys and girls yes. ready for prison. Yes. I'm a gangster, I told you. Why, why couldn't it have been called, watch this, catch this, catch this. Why couldn't they have said, this is the East Wing. That's a hospital. No, it's got to be block, the block. A South block, North block, South block. Yeah, but don't listen to me. I'm just talking off my head. Huh? Hey, take a seat, people. Let me get through this sermon. No, no, in the same vein. I'm just going to say this and run. I'm not staying here. I can recall <laughs> how the fox is smiling already. <laughs> I can recall when they said, homosexuals just want to be, just don't want to be criminals. We don't want to be identified as criminals. Yet there were those of us who knew that that was a lie. And now today, they want God's marriage. That reminds me. On June 23rd, vote no twice. No, 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 no. You know that'll be on Facebook later. That's right. I'm telling you that right now. I'm serious. You're not shutting me down. Not when I see by the Holy Spirit the plan and the tactic of the devil. This, all this. I'm, I'm in. Homosexuality didn't become famous until Caucasians wanted it. Now that they want it, it's going to be famous. And they're going to use black faces as the man poster children. I know that's right. Somebody just said, well, I won't be going to our church. That's okay. Apparently you're watching right now. That's, that's fine. I don't, I don't have an issue, you know, because, because when the mass sister deal, when it continues to multiply, they're going to look back at this preacher and say, that, that, oh, she was right. I'm trying to stop it from happening in the first place. Don't come crying to me. I'm going to say, go up to the Anglican church. Go up to the Methodist church. Go up to those pastors that had nothing to say. Oh, I am. I'm telling you that right now. Let me get back on the sermon. I'm telling you that right. You, you know I told you I just wanted to say it and run, but you all encouraged me and I, I, I just went. So, so listen to this now. Just like Adam and Eve, it will not be until the consequences of our desires fall out that you will understand why God said, 
Don't even look at it. Touch it or taste it. Don't even look at it. Stop watching scandals. Stop watching. Don't even look at it. I'm up here preaching that fornication ain't right. And y'all celebrating that this person's having fornicating all over the place. Stop it. I rebuke that enemy spirit that has you interested in, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just on it today. Quit it. Stop it. Poisoning your atmosphere. Opening up your gates to abomination. Celebrating abomination. Immorality. Tattoos all over the face. Let me see. <laughs> I just lost a couple more followers. I know that. Yeah, it's, it's true. We, got, we got to be aware of this. We got to wake up in Zion. Two people yesterday. You're the only one talk. They said, "Well, you know what? I'm only responsible for my church and to talk." And and listen, I said it was only John the Baptist. It was only Noah. Ow! So if I just got to speak publicly, publicly, huh? a voice crying out in the wilderness. One voice. I got a problem with that. God has blessed me to speak. And he's blessed me with people that understand my passion and desire to see that all of Bermuda return to God. Yes. Thank you, church. Thank you. I appreciate you. So in Adam's say now, he actually shifted the... Bl- oh, Lord. <laughs> he shifted, listen, because we've heard something else, but God said, mm, watch it, Maria. He shifted the blame of his disobedience to God. To God. He, he did. L- listen, listen to what he said. Listen, listen to what he said. Yeah. I'm like, I like you people, man. <laughs> 12, 12, 12, he says. It says, and the man said, the woman whom thou gave to me, she gave me to eat of the tree, and I did eat. Ain't that so? So, daddy, you can't blame mama anymore. Because according to the Bible, Adam didn't blame Eve. He blamed God who gave him Eve. So many say that Adam blamed Eve. The truth is that Adam blamed God. When you lose your mind, you blame God. Can you hear Adam? Well, God, you planted the tree. God, you pulled out uh, this woman from out of me. God, you joined this woman to me in holy matrimony. So church, the more things change, the more they remain the very same. The Adams of today will smoke marijuana, pay hundreds of dollars per week to get it, and yet so very many cannot pay rent, school fees, child support, etc. Don't even have a bank account. Got to give it to mama, keep a racket. And you'll hear things like, well, God planted the tree. God put it on the earth for us to use. To that I say that there's a major difference between use and abuse. To use something is to bring out its benefits and bring about a better state for yourself and others. To abuse a substance will do the very opposite. I mean, yo, listen to me, listen to me. They would have convinced me. I, I would have been on the side legalizing marijuana. If I saw all my young yes. black brothers yes. smoking marijuana, getting the degrees in, yes. eh, eh, eh. Yes. and that's all right, man, I, I got it. You know, had jobs, yes. having homes with legitimate cash that they could actually follow. I, I would have said, I'll be the first one. Legalize, legalize marijuana, legalize it. Yeah, ganja up, ganja up. I, I, I would have been with you because I would have saw, oh, the benefits are huge. There's no unemployment. Look at them. They're creating their own job. It's wonderful. Our society is more healthy. Children are happier. Bills paid, debts demolished, homes about homes, raises and bonuses. <laughs> Checks in the mail, finding money, bills did ba- Remember we used to say that? Yeah. You, you know, so if I saw all that with our ganja smoking brothers, I'd be like, weed up, oh yeah, weed up, smoke it, sniff it, do it, yeah. But unless I am confused or blind, that's not what I see. So 
They cannot support it. It's abuse. It's abnormal use. It ain't right. It ain't right. And we need to stop making excuses. I love them too. Oh, we got to stop making excuses. What in the world? So, what is the talk now? It's disobedience. Now, what is the talk? Let's take a look at it. 9 through 11. Now that the disobey, right? <laughs> God's word is delicious. I probably have to start preaching on one verse again. Shut, shut, shut these sermons down. Because I'm just into it. Are you into the yes. 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 All right. Hey! I am! Okay, here we go. 9 through 11. <laughs> and the Lord God, oh, this one said, eat nothing. Jennifer, Janice. What in the world today? All right, all right, all right. Okay, I ain't even looking at you no more. Nikki? <laughs> and the Lord God called unto Adam, picture it, people, picture it, and said unto him, Where you at? Where art thou? Where art thou? And he said, Is Adam? I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid. Well, wait a minute. You used to hear his voice every day. Oh, so when you do the wrong thing, it's not that God condemned you. You are self-condemned. Mm. I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. I'm going to love this. And I, and I hid myself. I was naked, and I hid myself. Huh, you know that. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Church, the whole issue of the Garden of Eden and the Paradise of Bermuda is that the devil wants you and I to be naked. I'm going to take my time here. Yeah. He, he wants you and I to be naked. Am I saying that the devil wants us to have no clothes on? No. No. After all, <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. After all, Adam and Eve were already naked in that way. They were already naked. So God is like, who told you you're naked? Okay, watch this. No, no. This is deeper and more crucial than nakedness. The devil wants you naked or uncovered. Uncovered. Let's look at the word naked. It comes from the word Aram. Aram, naked. But they were naked all this time. What's the difference? Well, church, when you are naked, oh Lord, naked in obedience, God has you covered. Listen to this. When you are naked in obedience, God's got you covered. Did you get that? Oh, Sister Blunt, you got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, when you are naked in disobedience, God will cover you and you will seek to cover yourself. You know, have you ever been, I didn't experience too much of this because I was more almost like a nun. Have you ever like done something wrong? You go in the presence of your mama and you can feel her. You, 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 out of hell, but shut it up real loud. <laughs> you, you know, you, all the witnesses went in the presence and it was like her eyes were looking through you. It's, it's like, like you just wanted to drop down. Oh, mother, forgive me, I have sinned. You know, you know, right? <laughs> because when you, <laughs> when you do something wrong, you automatically assume that certain people of authority who know you best know that you did wrong. And so God is saying, who told you that you're naked? In other words, who have you been communicating with that has spoken a word that I never introduced to you? If God, doesn't, if God does not introduce something to you, if God does not present something to you as acceptable, it is unacceptable. So that means fornication unacceptable, adultery unacceptable, uh, homosexuality 
unacceptable. God never introduced it as acceptable. You tasted of a tree. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Huh? <laughs> Some young boy, huh? Huh? In a church at that. How was introduced to a tree by some dirty old Christian man. And now he thinks it's a certain way. Huh? We're afraid to speak to it. We're afraid to deal with it. But too many times in a place that should have been. This should be. Oh, Holy Ghost. This should be your garden of Eden. It should be your safe place. You ought not be abused in the church. But too many churches. Yes. Housing homosexual yes. in leadership yes. position, yes. and what that does is place a, a position of vulnerability upon children. Yes. That's how they grow up. I was in church. I, I'm this way. I must have always been this way. They've been exposed to a fruit, I, uh, fruity Christian, fruit, a fruit. So that's why the church has got to get right. We want the world to live right. Huh? You better not show up. You look, they can go, everybody can come to Shekinah. By nobody in leadership position praying over people, having any, not up in here. Come on now. Not up, no. Because it's dangerous because God has not shown that, that ha See, now let me say this, I'm going to cover the base. Nobody in leadership Spraying over people should be operating and committing adultery and fornication. None of that. That's illegal fruit. That, 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 that when you pray over that person, rather than covering them, you're exposing them yeah. to the fruit of who you are. Yeah. We're going to have a standard around here. Take your seat, people of God. So when you're naked in disobedience, God didn't cover that. So they ran and covered themselves. And the question today that I must put before you is, do you want to be covered by God in obedience or do you want to have to cover your disobedient self? Huh? I, go, I, I need God to cover me. God, I need God to cover. I need to cover my mind, my heart, my thought processes. Huh? Everything I do, I, God, I need you to cover me. So here's what I know. When God covers me, if and when I do wrong, I can confess my sins. And God is faithful. And just, if only Adam had said, Father, forgive me. Let me tell you something. Catch this, Holy Ghost. Thank you. If Adam would have said, God, I went astray. Forgive me. That repentance, because repentance means to never go back. I am more than sure. That God would not have laid out the consequences as harsh as he did. There may be consequences, but it wouldn't have been to the state that we read it to be. But instead of Adam saying, forgive me, Father, he said, it's your fault, God. So in other words, watch this now. <laughs> God, when I need you, you're wonderful. But when I want to do my own thing and I get caught, it's your fault. You see how people can use God? Yeah. You know, so you got people. So you got people who have nothing for the church. But they want to call on the church to pray. I want to know who you think we're praying to. The very God that you're disobeying. That you're campaigning about to disobey. You double-minded, unstable creatures, you. See, 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 that, this is the word of God at you all. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Mama, I'm taking a seat because I'm going to preach through. <laughs> so if I confess, he's going to forgive me. However, when I refuse to be covered by God, I, just, oh, Lord. I, I, I was speaking in tongues, taping this stuff, oh boy. Ooh, watch this now. However, when I refuse to be covered by God, I am my own God. Puffed up, yeah? Right, okay, okay. This actually means I become my own God. I have my own rules. I become, watch this, my own idol. And, and, and I'm the only standard that matters. It's, it's mine. It's my, my standard is the only one that matters. Let's call it human standards. Okay, no, no. What, what should we call it today, Maria? Oh, yeah. Human rights. Human rights. 
Ain't no sense really talking to them, you know. Because in their eyes, God is wrong. Because they're human and they're right. Don't just listen to the serpent. Subtle serpent. Folks, this is what we see, yep, with the rise of human rights. Human rights in many cases is saying that God is wrong. And if you have if you have half a mind to understand, church, the things of God, you will understand that God is never wrong. God is never wrong. Don't you even that God is never wrong. Number three, oh, thorns and thistles. <laughs> oh. Let me let me define thorns. Stiff, sharp, pointed, straight, or carved woody projections on the stem or other part of a plant. Then you got thistles. A widely distributed herbaceous plant of the daisy family. This is the daisy duke shorts that just came to me. Okay, I, I, that's my mind. It's my mind. Okay, of the daisy family, which typically has a prickly stem and leaves and rounded heads of purple flowers. So get the picture, church. A plant that was previously, I love this, previously smooth. Come on now. Has now become jagged because of the abuse of a plant. Get the picture, church? A plant that was previously easy to handle now becomes dangerous. Come on now, Russ Bush. You can go out there talking about, oh, I'm in love. What's the day? February 12th? No, I know. I've got to go get the flowers before the 14th. What's the day? The 12th? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I see him. Um, 13th, oh, I got to get them tomorrow, Valentine's Day. I want a dozen roses. Nobody goes to a rose plant just goes, boop, 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 boop. No, 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 Because there's nasty thorns. You be presenting the, 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 the roses to your beloved with band-aids all over yourself. You know what I'm saying? So the, the most, ooh, so the most beautiful plant, the plant, the flower that represents love. See, God wins. Love wins. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Their love win campaign full of thorns and thistles. Yes. Yes. You go ahead accepting love. Uh -huh. All that, that jagged edges. Yeah. He's protruding that shouldn't be protruding. Oh! See me back to your notes, girl. Plant is dangerous to handle. So take a look at the pictures. Talk about it. I'm going to just pick some, pick some plant. Because that fuchsia, that's pastor's favorite color. So I'm going to pick it for. Come on, let's go, everybody. Just grab them. Yeah, you would, would you? You would, would you? I remember my brother fell one time. Remember that up by West Pembroke? Fell red in up. Oh, Lord. That's why Alan's like him. Just run, hit this, bang, this. Red in the red, all the thorns, all in them. Got to take them to the hospital. Yeah, you know about, oh, that plant's lovely. That's the thistles. <laughs> Yeah, you go for it. Go for it! <laughs> See? That's, that's the enemy. The enemy never shows you the thorns and the thistles. Never shows you the jagged outcome. Never shows you the road that's not going to be smooth, but it's going to be difficult because you taste and touch of a plant and abused it. Yeah. You think you can handle the weed. I can handle it. That's how they all start, you know. Gateway drug. Gateway. Oh, we can get Bermuda's famous gate. This is good. Get, we are the gateway city of everything. Yeah. Get gate to every gate. To now referendum gate. Every gate. Yeah. We can handle it. You think you can handle the weed. But as I look around Bermuda, I see that the weed is handling you. Yeah. The sad truth is that while I wish that you would stop abusing the weed, I now see in plain sight that the weed is continuously abusing you. I remind you that the devil wants you naked. Naked. Since Lucifer, Satan, the devil, is no longer the covering angel. He was the covering. Come on, okay, Seaman kind of showed it to him. All right. It's like he was in heaven. And his position, he covered everyone. He was the covering angel. 
And now that he's been kicked out of heaven, he don't want you covered. I want you uncovered. I don't want you protected. Let me, let me read it to you. Ezekiel 28, 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Satan used to cover, and now he has been disempowered to cover. Now that he's been disempowered to cover, he desires that you aren't are, um, so mad at Satan. <laughs> when I get this insight, I'm like, how can we miss it? He desires that you and I be uncovered too. So much of us should be so much further ahead, but we t tasted and touched of some stuff. Well, let me show you something. Ooh, ooh, let me show you something. Verse 14. Are you okay? Verse 14. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. And I didn't say I was finished. I was going to say, I'm getting there. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above cattle, all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust thou eat all the days of thy life. And let me show you something I got while the scripture was being read. Let me show you something. God says to the serpent, you are going to eat dust. Whenever I do an interpretation, and I place a body in the ground. Look at, you, look at the pattern. Yeah. 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 I say earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and then finally dust to dust. In other words, the remains of any living being, the lowest denominator, the lowest thing that they can be is dust. There is nothing lower or less than dust. And God says, because you uncovered my people. Look at this now. <laughs> the word of God. He said, the animals are better than you. He said, beasts are better than you. This is what it's telling the serpent. Because you made them Come against my word. You are going to be lower than animals and beasts. Animals. Beasts. Um, keep looking at that while I read this. Insight, insight, insight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God said to the devil, there is a cause. Be cause. All right? There is a cause. So nobody's just suffering because of nothing. You know, why is there so much? Why doesn't God stop? The murders and stop the hunger. Because. Because people, Holy yeah. Ghost, have decided that rather than following God, yeah. I'm going to follow the serpent. Yeah. And so therefore the serpent, he, whatever he deals with, causes death. Yeah. Yeah. Things that are dead become dust. Okay. All right. All right. I'm saying go. Saying to the serpent, you, you sin, and now there is a cause of, uh, for consequences. You are lower than animals. You are lower than beasts. And so I, I looked at this, and I, I, yeah, I had an epiphany. No, I had an epiphany. I had a moment. I got something. I got something. The reason, <laughs> oh, God, thank you, Jesus. The reason that humanity is becoming more like animals and beasts it's because they are walking in their gardens of disobedience to God. Yes. You, you wonder how well, the animals do it. I, I've heard it. Yeah. I've heard it. Well, if you look in the animal kingdom, yeah. there are over 200 species where the male and the male get together. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're going to the animal kingdom, yeah. the beast kingdom, because yeah. you're of your father, the serpent, the devil.
talking to the animals as you're standing. When go up because of disobedience from his word said that the serpent is lower than the animals. Are you seeing this church? Yeah. Some more. Hmm. Now, the lowest, 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 the lowest, the lowest, the lowest moving creature is a snake. Got that right? His belly, his belly touches the ground as he moves. Okay, I'll say this. I'll try not to say it. I'll try not to say it. The Bible speaks to the belly of how. It increases itself daily. Well, sure it does. Because daily, mankind started to touch the ground and didn't stop that any animals. I, I'm seeing, oh, I can't speak to you. I got children. Somebody sent me some videos. I'm telling you, I, I, I know people are doing animal things to humans. That's all I'm going to say. I look at it, I delete it. Then I speak to it. But I'm like, but because of what I was preaching, I said, yeah. Animals. Animals. Like you. Animals. I'm trying to understand. I say, some people want to like be in love anymore. You know, you know, when they're with each other, say, oh, I love you. No, all I see is animals. Chase us. Hiya. Shabbat. That's why we got to lift up the standards. Marriages are going to get better in, 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 in China. We're going to get more visible. We got to we gotta lift up the standards, y'all. Hey, Basha. Let me finish here. His belly touches the ground as he moves. As it where his belly continues to, watch this, impact the earth. Okay. Houston, Texas, this week. Flooding. More earthquake now. Roads just moving. But what you expect when America removes God and raises six colors in some flag talking about homosexual rights? You, you think the... Ooh, oh man, the imagery. I, I got to share this with you. God just she shared me. I'm telling you. She just shared me. He said, Maria, it's like the snake is on the ground and his belly is getting bigger and bigger. And so it breaks up. That's why in the last days you got to see more earthquakes. you got to see more things that are happening. Because the earth is being impacted more by the darkness of the serpent. God tell me to remind you. That's why y'all got you gotta let your light shine. Yeah, that's right. Jesus, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I, well, okay, yeah, I am. I see the end. I see the end. All right. Now, let me read. Let me read her. Serpent. Mm, mm. Mm. So the earth and the world hmm, grow darker. As they give into the ways of this old serpent. Let me tell you something in Bermuda. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm speaking by the Holy Ghost. I, I, I was at with some church folks last night. And, and we said this after the concert. Yes, hallelujah. I came in agreement with them. Uh -huh, uh, that the reason that this island is still standing is because of the saints. Abasha. Abasha. Ebakataya. Hey. Because here's the image. I, I work. God shows me images. He says, Maria, as the weight of the belly of the snake increases, he says, as my people stand, they hold the ground down. Yes. Come on. Did you get it? Yes. Did you get it? So we're going to stand. We're going to stand on God's word. Yes. We're going to stand firm, set fast. Yes. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, yes we are. Come on, now. Come on. you insight. Holy Ghost stop. Take your seat. I'm on my last word now. So yeah. So now I want to talk about <laughs> this other word they like. <laughs> uh, got some good work. Got some good work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it. Verse 18. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, 
and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. Church, God tells this disobedient couple that they will now eat of the herbs of the field. I'm going to take my time because some of you are getting it drop by drop. I read this, and again, God reminded me of my teaching I did on evology. Church, God sent them to now eat in the field. When all of this time they have been eating in the garden. A garden and a field are different. The garden, the garden was a God-controlled environment. The open field was not a complete or perfectly controlled space. So the herbs of the field would not be God's perfect food. Those herbs carried the possibilities of thorns and thistles. You hear me? The herbs in the field now may have... The, if you look at a picture of, of, a, of a thorn or a thorny plant or of thistles, it's not completely 100% covered. You know, a, 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 a sparse, well, not sparse, the, the, the spread out a bit. Right? Yeah. Mm. And so the herbs, not the perfect food, they carry the possibility of thorns and thistles. And so this is what we have to remember. We can't say, well, God planted everything, so everything's good. No, it isn't. No, it is not. The moment that you disobey God, that food that should have been good is now not that good. You cannot walk in disobedience and say God's blessed it. No. You'll never see this in a regular church. Honey, read at home drug tests, marijuana. It's too many people out at home with drugs. Huh? Used to be a shame. Now some parents, well, as long as they did not end room. Hmm? Standards are dropping. Huh? So, church, we must be honest. The drug from the field. The drug from the herb tree, cannabis, yielding the possibility of good, has pierced, thorns and thistles, pierced our lives, our homes, and our community with thorns and thistles. Yes. Today, right now, there are those who can tell the story right in here. Tell the story of how the thorns and the thistles of the abuse of drugs has destroyed or deteriorated their life. Yeah. Come on. It may look good. Feel good, taste good, but watch it. It yields thorns and thistles. I invite you to direct a leave the tree alone. Leave its knowledge of death alone. Leave its legacy of poverty alone. Instead, reconnect with God. Get covered again and, and God will see you through. See, 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 I know, I know, I don't have to take a drug to get through my situation. Can I say that? Huh? But when I'm going through something, I don't have to put anything in my body. Oh, Holy Ghost just said this. He says, and Maria, all these idols, these stars that sell out their religion, sell out their souls where they started, what do they usually die of? Drug abuse. Yes, yes. Huh? They just gave me results on princess, right? Drug abuse. By the way, right now, right now, right now, there are producers making millions off of his dead body. Sure. I want to be covered by culture. God desires to cover you, cover your family, cover all that concerns you. Are you ready to be covered? That's what God wants to know. Are you ready to be covered? Are you ready to reject those things that are not pleasing in his sight? Are we ready to stop making excuses for our brothers and our sisters? 
but lift them. Amen. That's all we have time for this week. I know you've enjoyed it. Join us next week as we conclude this sermon. Stand up.